Hi guys, it's Monica Blunder, makeup artist. So today I'm gonna show you how I did Kali Kloss's makeup for the MTV Movie Awards. I got a lot of requests on my Instagram. A lot of people really like this makeup look. So I'm gonna show you today on my gorgeous model, Bethany. Bethany is actually my makeup assistant and she has the perfect look for this tutorial. The makeup is very bold. It's very fashion forward. It's very 60s inspired, but just give it a try. I promise you it will look so good on you. Let me know what you think. Subscribe to my channel and I see you next time. So basically I started with doing the VS Pro Airbrush Face Primer and I'm also applied a VS Pro Tinted Moisturizer Primer in light on you. Now I'm going to do your eyebrows and I basically just filled them in a little bit with a MAC eyeshadow and Espresso. On Kali, you know, the eye makeup was pretty intense so I really think that the eyebrows need to be just really natural and simple. So the next step to this makeup is applying eyeliner. And for that I chose a NARS eye pencil. It's called Larger Than Life in Barrow Street. And it's a mint green eyeliner. It's the new summer collection. It's a beautiful eyeliner. And basically I'm dragging this color really closely to the lash line, you know, outwards and upwards. And I'm also doing the line a little bit thicker because I'm going to put a black liner on top of the, uh, the mint green liner. And it, so now I'm going to put a black eyeliner on top of the mint green and for that I'm using Clinique Brush On Cream Liner in, in True Black and a Sigma brush in E10. And I'm going to put this product really close to the lash line because we want the mint green to still show. So you need to take the brush really close to the lash line and drag it all the way outwards and upwards and keep half of the mint green still showing. And now the next step is I'm going to use a NARS pencil again, larger than life eyeliner in 47. It's basically a black eyeliner, eyeliner pencil, and I'm putting this product in the upper inner water rim. And you also wiggle the product a little bit between the lashes so you get this really nice black intense look to her eyes. So the next step is I take my Chanel brush in number 14 and I dip the eye pencil, the black eye pencil, into my brush and I'm going to drag this, the black on the lower lash line and I start on the outer corners and I go in, you know, about three quarters of her eye and kind of just, you know, smudge it in her under eye area. It doesn't have to be too perfect. It can look a little bit smudgy and lived in. I'm just gonna take the green mint pencil and apply it in the inner corners and again take my hands and smudge it in and just make it really natural. And the last step to this eye makeup look is a white eyeliner pencil, again by NARS, Larger Than Life, and the color is called Santa Monica. It's just a really plain white eyeliner pencil, and I'm putting that in the inside of her waterline. And this is definitely a very daring, you know, look. And I know it's not for everybody out there, but give it a try. Maybe you like it. And if, if the white is too intense, you can always go and use a Shurimura pencil, which is this like really tan natural color and would be a nice alternative to the white pencil. And now we're going to curl the lashes and we're applying some VS Pro Triple Drama Mascara. I'm, I'm going to do two coats of that because I want really nice, full and intense lashes. And I'm also going to put some mascara on the bottom lash line. But for that, I'm going to use Clinique Bottom Lash Mascara in black. And I really love this mascara because it has this really perfect little tiny brush. And that brush, you know, catches every single lash line. It's a great product. 
We are almost done with this eye makeup. There's just one more final step and I'm going to apply some individual lashes by Ardell. And I'm actually using the size short and medium and I'm going to apply it on a dual eyelash adhesive in dark. And I'm starting off with the short eyelashes in the middle of her eye. And I'm working my way outwards with the medium size. And we are moving on to contour your face a little bit. And I'm choosing my lovely Chanel Soleil Tan, the Chanel. Everyone by now knows how much I love this product. And I'm going to apply it on a MAC brush in 109. So basically I'm putting this product in the hollows of your cheeks. And I'm using a pretty straight line. And then I'm going back in with a fluffy brush by Tom Ford in 06, the brush. And I'm just blending everything. You know so it doesn't look too extreme and the next step is applying blush and I chose a VS product and it's a beautiful color it's called pleasure but I'm going to give you some pleasure with this <laughs> blush <laughs> and it's a really really pretty color and I'm basically applying it with a NARS brush in number 27 just on the apples of your cheeks and the last step for the cheeks is applying some highlighter and for that I'm using a MAC product. It's my favorite mineral skin finish in soft and gentle. I love this product and I'm always applying it with a Stila brush. It's a fan brush. And I also did a lot of highlighting for Kali for the MTV Movie Awards. So this step is really important. Now we are applying some concealer and for that I chose a Clinique Line Smoothing Concealer in 03. And I like doing this step kind of at the very end because what happens a lot of times, especially if you're doing a stronger eye makeup, you will have a lot of fall down and there will be little particles from the eye makeup on your skin. So I like cleaning everything up at the end. So the next step for this makeup would be applying powder. And for that I chose a NARS Translucent Crystal Loose Powder. And I'm just applying this product in her T-zone area. Now you see the beautiful highlight on the cheeks. I want to keep all that. So we're just applying it on the nose area, on the chin area, a little bit, you know, around her lips, underneath her eyes, and that's it. We keep the rest of the face really beautifully highlighted. All right, we are moving on to lips. And for that, I'm using Terry Balm the Rose. It smells so amazing. It has this beautiful rose flavor to it. And it's really important before you do red lips, just, just to moisturize your lips a little bit beforehand. And now we are moving on to my favorite lip pencil. It's NARS Velvet Matte Lip Pencil in Red Square. And I'm just applying it directly out of the pencil. You know, you just, it's like a lip pencil you, and you're applying it all over your lips and you shape your lips with it. It's such a great color. It stays on for many hours and it's beautiful. And then you can even take your brush and fine tune the lips by, you know, smoothing out the edges and make it look perfect. All right, so this is the finished look. Um, it's such a bold and beautiful makeup look. It's very 60s inspired and uh, I hope that you guys like it. 